All right, today I'm going to make a new and improved video on how I tear a deck of cards. I made one maybe like two and a half years ago. It's old and uh, my technique has gotten a little better over the years. So I figured I'd uh, do another one. So when you first start to tear cards, you have to realize that different brands vary in difficulty. These, I call these cheapos. You get them online for like less than 50 cents a deck. And they're really easy to tear. They say plastic coated, but they're hardly plastic coated at all. They feel like mostly paper. Now, these are the ones that I recommend starting with. Then there's like intermediate ones. This, most brands are I consider them intermediate. Like Mavericks is a very popular one. This is just one off Amazon. Um, and then you have the more advanced decks, such as bicycles. These are the gold standard of card tearing and what people try to uh, strive to be able to tear through. So uh, I'm going to do an example with these ones today. Um, so let's uh, do it. Open up the deck. Got cards. I Some people take out the jokers and the, uh, the whatever, the bonus cards, whatever the heck they are. But I just like to tear them all. You can, some people like to start with less cards. Um, I personally started the full deck but on the cheap cards and like, you know, if they're too hard, you can build up to it. But, uh, yeah, you just progressively, you know, make it more difficult. So you have your two hands. My left hand, because I'm a righty, is what I call the vice hand. And my right hand is the tearing hand. So the left hand is very important, the vice hand or your, your non-dominant hand or whatever you choose to tear with. First, you want to kind of almost like make a gun with your hand. Because you want to place the deck kind of on that finger there, uh, on the ring finger. You want to keep the cards straight and together as possible because the second they start to come apart, they become exponentially more difficult to tear. And they'll fan out and slide around and it's not fun. And it's easier to tear your skin off too, which will probably happen regardless. You gotta, you're going to have to condition your skin like... I don't know if you can really see this, but my skin is like, feels like, like armor or something on there. Anyway, get the gun going, place the cards, and then you wrap your, your two fingers and your thumb around like this. You kind of want to jam, jam it into this webbing here, but you don't want to squeeze too hard. You don't want to distort the deck. You still want it to stay mostly straight. If you squeeze too hard like that, if you can see that little bowing there, you're going to make it a lot more difficult for you and maybe impossible. I don't know. So anyway, you got that. It's very important. You want to keep the cards as together as possible. You want to have a nice tight grip on there, but not to the point where you're distorting the deck. Now your tearing hand what you're doing here is you're kind of almost doing like a key pinch. I'm, I, I go like this on the corner of the deck. But there's a very important factor that you have to do uh, before that. Um, using my thumb pad, I'm kind of pushing down the deck on this further corner, the corner that's closer to me, before I do that pinch to begin the tear. So what that does is actually... You're creating an S-shaped curve in the deck that creates a focal point that will start to tear along this finger here. All the cards will start to evenly tear. But it's really hard to master. It looks it looks simple when I'm doing it because I've done it so many times. But it's not as simple as just like pinching and pulling. You have to really, with this part of your hand, you have to really get that, hear that little pop too. That means that they're getting ready to go. Um, but it'll take a lot of practice to master. It took me like months to, to really figure out. But after you get that going, you will twist your vice hand forward while you're pulling your tearing hand towards you. So kind of opposite directions while maintaining that firm grip, keeping the cards together. And the deck should start to tear if everything, you know, is right. But like I said, it can take a lot of uh, practice to do it right. Um, but 
I'll start the tear for you here. Oh, that was a little, a little, a little faster than I was expecting. I uh, got through a good amount of the deck. Um, so once you get through, I'd say maybe like two thirds of it, or maybe a little more. You you want to sneak this this index finger into here. This is really important for finishing off the deck. It makes it a lot easier. And as you're tearing, you also want to make sure the deck's still all nice and together here. But once you can get your finger in there, it becomes a lot easier because then you're kind of just pinching this part of the deck with your tearing hand and you have a good grip on both halves that are about to be ripped in half. So after you do that, you kind of just twist your wrists apart while hanging on to the cards and, uh, you know, tear through them. Like I said, it takes a lot of practice to get it right. Um, it'll be frustrating, it'll be painful, but eventually it will click. Show you again. Got the gun, got the shelf, everything's in there, nice and tight. You want to try and have the deck about half of it sticking out here because the farther it is in your hand, the less of a uh, surface area you have to grab onto, so your leverage is worse, so it makes it a lot harder. So closer you are to the center, the easier it will be to do the tear. So this part of my hand, down, push it down, pinch, and twist, and there you go. We'll do one more. So I said, it is kind of painful at first, but you'll get used to it like anything. Our human bodies adapt to stuff, and it's a pretty cool party trick. You know, useless skill, but kind of fun to do. Gun, grip, down, pinch, twist. And then you got that little piece off there, and you put your finger in, and oh. So yeah, just uh, you know, keep practicing it. Eventually it will click after, um, well, some people get it right away. Others, it's frustrating, like me. It took me a while, but uh, I'm glad that now I know I can help people out, give them a better idea of what they're doing wrong or what the most important things are to focus on because it can be a little confusing if you don't know and yeah i hope this video helps